Where in the world is Daniil Medvedev? We check in on the world number two as he goes from grass to hard courts. And a weekend update from across the pond. We're looking at who's got the best chance to advance to the Elite Eight. You know what time it is, the break starts now. Hey guys, what's up? Aaron Coscarelli here. Now with the ban on Russian and Belarusian players, at Wimbledon this year, we've been deprived of seeing Daniil Medvedev charm the crowd. And you guys, being against me, you gave me so much energy to win, thank you. Play elegant tennis. I don't want to play here on this circuit. And most importantly, share his breakfast plans. I try to always have some eggs. We have avocado 13, uh, two poached eggs. So I decided to see what Daniil has been getting into lately, and it turns out he's been spending more time on grass than I originally thought. He posted these golfing photos last week with former soccer pro Bastian Schweinsteiger. Bastian, of course, the husband of former world number one Anna Ivanovich, who does also enjoy a round of golf on occasion. It was this clip, however, that caught my eye. Daniil showing off some of his soccer skills as he prepares for the summer hardcore season. Well, it is known that Daniil is a big soccer fan. He told the press he's a dedicated supporter of Bayern Munich, which also happens to be Bastian's former team. So, of course, we're all looking forward to seeing those footwork skills on the hard courts. Well, Wimbledon is known for tradition, but the tradition of no play on Middle Sunday, followed by the well-known Manic Monday, is one that has come to an end. Previously, no matches were played on Middle Sunday to allow the grass courts to recover, but Thanks to some new technology and some smarter maintenance, that is no longer the case. That being said, let's recap Saturday action and look ahead to the first ever slate of matches on Middle Sunday at Wimbledon. Amanda Anisimova ousted Coco Goff in three sets to advance to her first Wimbledon fourth round. Harmony Tan following up her first round win over Serena nicely. She defeated hometown hope Katie Bolter 6-1, 6-1. Taylor Fritz, Brandon Nakashima won their matches to join Francis Tiafo and Tommy Paul in the fourth round. Alizé Cornet snapped Schwantek's incredible 37-match straight win, upsetting the world number one on center court. And Nick Kyrgios pulled off the upset over fourth seed Stefano Tsitsipas to keep his grass season going. Now let's look ahead to Sunday at Wimbledon. Carlos Algaraz faces Yannick Sinner for a spot in the quarterfinals. Top seed Novak Djokovic will be facing the fast-rising Tim Van Rijthoven. Third seed Anne Jabeur looks to match her 2021 Wimbledon performance as she plays Elise Mertens for a spot in the last eight. Venus Williams and Jamie Murray will take the court against all-British team of Alicia Barnett and Johnny O'Mara. And of course, my match to watch is Heather Watson against Jula Niemeyer. Heather, of course, enjoying her first ever showing in the second week of the major, doing it in front of a home crowd, making it even more special. It'll be fun to see if she can keep this run going. Well, that'll do it for us today. Tennis Channel's coverage of Wimbledon beginning daily for 30 p.m. Eastern time. We will see you tomorrow.